so hello guys welcome back it has been a minute um i've been pretty busy no i really haven't i don't know why i'm making excuses but i only like to upload content that i absolutely love and i think this video i'm gonna really like must admit i have got a fan on it's one of those silent fans but it's actually not silent um as you can probably see there i've got a fan as well my room is super hot today is just too much but anyways um back to the video i have decided today i'm gonna do like a kind of look book but i'm gonna do it reflecting on outfits that i've worn over the past few days slash weeks so i have to admit i have just took the pictures from my instagram but you guys that follow me on there will know that i'm always uploading outfit of the days and people do ask me like where are those clothes from um, and I just thought I'd put it out onto YouTube. So I've actually edited some pictures of the outfits that I'm going to talk about, and I'm going to put them on the top on the screen for you. Um, so really quickly, I'll just show you. These are the outfits I'm going to be talking about. Din, 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 din. So I am going to do my absolute best to insert clips here so the first outfit which i'm going to be talking about is this black and white dress which i'm wearing with a red bag and asos sandals so as people may have seen i did go to amsterdam at the weekend um i know traveling during this time is a bit controversial um but i feel that time is passing on and um, i've only chose to go to countries that have got a very low case of corona and for people like myself like going abroad going on city breaks going on trips is like what keeps me sane so if that's what i need to do to keep myself sane then i don't think people should judge me for it obviously have considered laws of local countries i've done what i can to protect myself i've wore face masks in all the right areas disinfected places carried hand sanitizer at all times you know gone with what's recommended but i don't really think people should judge other people for doing what they need to do especially during a time where you know some people need to be happy and stay sane so i was a bit in two minds of whether to upload content from going away but i thought you know what i think there's so many people and i did do a little poll on my insta story there's so many people that are intrigued as to how it is to travel um obviously going through the airport wearing a mask is something new but literally nothing 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 was too much and i feel like i was the safest i've ever been in an airport i've never seen airports so quiet i've never seen tourist attractions so quiet so you know i'm kind of glad that a lot of people aren't traveling because it made sure that i had a better and safer experience so anyway aside from that little disclaimer um let's talk about the outfits so the outfit <laughs> So this dress was from ASOS Design, I believe. And this is a black and white spotty plissy style dress. I absolutely loved wearing this because the temperature was like reaching 36 degrees. And I only had hand luggage as well. So I just thought it was good to have lightweight dresses. And honestly, I couldn't have packed for better weather. Everything was just cool and I needed it. Um, as you can see, I've wore this with some Primark sunglasses, which were two pound. And that bag is the red bag from My Accessories London. I absolutely love this. I bought this in March, which was like just before lockdown. So I didn't really get to wear it. So I thought I'm definitely taking it on this trip. And those ASOS wide fit sandals, oof, I love them. They are super comfy. And I must admit, I did take Converse with me, which I wore on the first day. And my feet, oh my goodness, I had the worst blister, a bit TMI. But basically, I couldn't really wear anything else, so I had to wear them so much. So you'll probably see I'm wearing them in quite a lot of pictures. Second outfit is this one. So in this outfit, I this is when I went for food with one of my friends. We just went for a casual dinner date. So I wore this top, which 
I'm sure it means I love you forever in French, which I got from River Island. I've got an ASOS plus size denim jacket, leather jacket on um, with my favourite jeans from ASOS. They are a mom jean with like a ripped um, seam at the bottom. I've got my new Converse on, the one that gave me blisters. And again, the red bag, because, you know, it had to get some usage. The next outfit that I'm going to talk about is this one. So this outfit, again, the denim shirt I got in January. I've worn it once before when I went to Portugal, but I just felt like it had to feature. I love it, but I just never knew what to wear with it. Um, and the top there, it says icon on it, and it was kind of gifted from Creative House UK. So I chose the item out of all of the different things online because it reminded me a little bit of like Couture Club or like the Boohoo Man logo. And obviously you can't get in that in plus size. So I just thought it was nice to have something a bit similar. Um, as, as I said, the leather jacket was from ASOS. I'm wearing cycling shorts there, which were just from New Look. I always find when you buy cycling shorts to size down um, because I hate it when they're a bit gapey. So if anyone's looking to buy some, that is my recommendation. And I am just wearing my Air Force Ones. These are the Sage Ones, I believe, which means they have a thicker sole and these are black leather with a white sole. Fourth outfit. So this outfit is what I wore on day one actually of Amsterdam but I had to change my shoes because I did have Converse on but they were too painful. So as you can see here I'm wearing sunglasses which are from River Island and I find that these sunglasses are literally so bougie. I love them like I just feel like a little sass queen when I'm wearing those. Um, I'm wearing a top from Topsy Curvy which says love is love. If anybody wants to buy any slogan t-shirts, honestly, check out Topsy Curvy. Not even slogan t-shirts because they sell loads of stuff. But I just love buying from them because I know that I'm buying from a small business. Like, don't get me wrong, ASOS. I love ASOS. But I know that when I'm buying from Topsy Curvy, I'm providing and helping a small business grow, which is a local one. It's based in Manchester. So, guys, please check out Topsy Curvy anything you might want i mean this top here was probably the same price as the one from topsy curvy but the one from them is such a better quality so yeah take that away from this i'm wearing a bum bag which is from asos this is actually asos plus and i thought why have they got like a plus size bag but then i realized the strap if you want to wear it across your body if you've got boobs like mine you need that extra length and the black pants are plissy ones which are from asos again and of course i'm wearing the sandals <laughs> and my final outfit and i think this is probably my favorite outfit of the whole weekend because i love dressing up was this one so this dress is also a plissy material this is from asos as you can see um, and again, I think this was ASOS design. So this was like a leopard print, loose fit kind of dress. It had little gathers at the bottom of the sleeves and at the back it had like a little peephole neck thing with a button, which was super cute and really cool. I wore that, wore that dress with some snake print heeled boots um, because they are my favorite shoes. And I know in Amsterdam with all the cobbles and bridges, it was better to just take my comfies. And then I wore this with a bag from DKNY. I actually picked this up from TK Maxx in Liverpool One. Um, I always find they have really good stuff in TK Maxx. Like, I think it's my favourite one. One of my favourite TK Maxx. <laughs> anyway, sorry that I keep messing my hair. It's because of the fan, but I don't want to look bald. My hair is still drying, so please just ignore the absolute mess. Anyways, um, but yeah, I think this is my favourite outfit of the weekend um i just felt really nice in it and very summery i like the color palette i did really plan my outfits for that trip because i just feel like you have to when you're going away like you want to look nice you want to feel nice and picture opportunities no i'm joking um 
but yeah that's it really and i hope you've liked this video i mean when i first started watching youtube videos i always used to watch lookbooks and to be honest they don't seem to be a thing anymore and i know mine's not a lookbook with videos but i just thought i'd talk you through some of my outfits and how i've styled the items so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and i'm sorry that it's been so long i'm gonna try to be back sooner than last time so yeah i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have please feel free to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see content similar to this bye